in our previous example of working with functions. We saw how we could write a function and call the function. However, you may have noticed that we always wrote our functions above our main function. That's because C++ needs to know about the function before it can be called. So in this case, by putting the function above the main, we were able to describe that function so it knows how to be called. Unfortunately, sometimes functions will call functions and in varying orders, so we may not be able to establish the order in which the functions are placed. Therefore, what we can do instead is write a function prototype. I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. And take our two existing functions and move them below our main function. If I come and build this, it's going to generate a couple of errors, mainly that the function name identifiers cannot be found. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create the prototype. And we'll place this up top before we have any functions written. That way we can call the functions and have the functions written below our main. And it makes it a little bit nicer and easier to find the main and work with it. Now our function prototype is going to have our return type, our function identifier or name, and the parameter list. Now you might see this in our function header. So what I'm going to do is copy this come up above the main and paste it. Then to create the prototype, I'll simply put a semicolon at the end. I'll repeat this for my other function. And now we have our function prototypes. Usually the order that we'll do this is we will have our includes, our namespace, and then our function prototypes in our file, as you can see here. Now, if I run this file, it will compile correctly and I will get the results from my console window just as I expected. So that's what creating a function prototype is all about, about identifying your function so we know how to call it. That way, it doesn't matter what order our functions are written in. This allows for a little bit more logical grouping of our functions. And when we start importing external files, allows us to import those files to know how to use those functions and those files.